Hey, Mike here with Reprint Equipment. Today's video, we're gonna jump into electrical issues with your DX4 printhead. Uh, we've got lots of great information uh, on the DX4 and DX7 printhead, so make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, this image that you see right here, this is pretty common. I see this in lots of different uh, Facebook groups and forums, and what we have going on here is an electrical issue. Uh, most of the time, uh, this doesn't just happen out of the blue. Uh, typically, when I see someone post a picture like this, my first question is, what was you doing beforehand? And for the majority, you trying to clean your print head, you was replacing a damper, was careless, ain't got on the connectors, or uh, you've replaced something, you put the connectors in the wrong way. Many different ways that this print head can uh, cause this type of electrical shortage. And the thing that's going on here is uh, it's either a transistor, a head cable, uh, or your head carriage board, uh, somewhere in that path. Uh, the first thing I recommend is to check your cables. Check, make sure there's no bent prongs. Make sure you inspect them really good and then reseat the connections, turn the machine back off, and hopefully your problem will be resolved. But if not, uh, I'm gonna show you exactly how to test these other components to find out exactly where the problem lies. Uh, this image right here of this little video is the side view of the transistors that's on your main board. And when you test these transistors, you really need to pull this board out of the machine to do it properly. Uh, always make sure that your machine's powered off before messing with anything electrical in your machine. And in baby terms, uh, what a transistor does is it turns on and off your printhead. You have two transistors per channel, ones to turn the printhead on and ones to turn it off. And these are actually very sophisticated. Most printheads can fire up to 40,000 shots per second. So these are pretty complex uh, transistors. And the two different types you'll find on most rolling boards are uh, the C4131 and the, and the A1746. There are two different types of transistors. And again, one of them turns on the printhead and one turns off the printhead. So the first picture that you saw, the problem was it was not turning off. The C4131 is what turns it on. It was able to turn it on, but the 1746 was bad and not allowing it to go off. So to test these things, uh, you've got to really understand each one of the transistors. Uh, number one is the 4131, and it is what's called an NPN uh, transistor. That's negative, positive, negative. And the 1746 is a PNP transistor, which is positive, negative, positive. So when testing these transistors, uh, you can do it from the bottom or the side, however you prefer. Uh, I typically do it from the the bottom and you need to make sure that your uh, multimeter is set to the diode setting and with the NPN the 4131 uh, when testing this transistor you'll take your red probe and place it on the center pin uh, the center leg and then take the negative probe and test the outer legs uh, it'll be the opposite on the positive negative positive where you'll put the black probe to the center pin and you'll test the outside legs uh, usually when you have a bad transistor depending on the multimeter it'll beep it'll buzz uh, or you just have have an irregular reading from the other one. So make sure you check out all the other transistors and see what their readings are. And you'll be able to compare and see that you have an odd one that's actually giving you trouble. These can be pretty easily replaced. There is no substitute to that I'm aware of. Uh, so you need to make sure you're ordering the correct transistor. Uh, most computer repair shops can manage this repair or there's a guy in New Jersey that does it as well. Uh, typically, I think it would be cheaper for a computer repair shop. If you've never done any type of soldering, I highly suggest you have someone else do it. You can dev damage the uh, leads. There's many different things you can damage and actually ruin your main board. So only uh, try to tackle this repair uh, if you're capable. As you can see from this video, I have my guy uh, showing you exactly what he's doing. He's uh, alternating between the transistors. They are staggered, so it'll go the 4131, the 1746, which again, they have to be tested uh, oppositely. So you can see he's jumping one from the other, changing the orientation of his probes and testing each individual transistor. So now if that didn't solve your problem, uh, the last thing we have to check is the printhead itself and the head carriage board. And this can be simply done if you're very, very careful careful, uh, what you can do is swap the head cables from one head to the other. I recommend taking the other set of cables out. That way they're not dangling. They don't cause any more issues. And you can easily do this. I just grabbed an old junk machine to show you this process. And you could take and swap the cables from one side to the other. Now for time's sake, uh, one of these printheads do have a thermistor that is a temperature sensor. And if you turn your machine on when swapping the cables, you're likely going to get a temp too low 
air. Uh, you're gonna wanna be in service mode uh, when you do this. Uh, if you're not familiar with getting your machine into service mode, check out our other videos. We have other videos on service mode. Uh, but once you get into service mode, you'll be able to run your test print. If that head does fire, then you could pretty much uh, eliminate the head carriage board and you know it's the print head. It's time to replace that print head. Now with swapping these cables, uh, the black print head does have a uh, thermistor, a temperature sensor. So when you power on your machine, it's likely going to say temp too low if the black head is not plugged in. Uh, so to resolve this, uh, you need to be in service mode. So make sure you check out our other videos if you're not familiar with service mode. Get into service mode, set your machine up, run a test print. If that head fires from that other side, uh, then you can pretty much eliminate it that it's the uh, head carriage board and you can look into replacing your print head. You now know the print head is bad uh, and you can replace it. Uh, if you need help troubleshooting any other type of issue, make sure you check out our other videos. If you're looking for used parts, if you're looking to trade that machine in, you're at wit's end, you're ready to give up, you want to trade it, you want to sell it, please let me know. That's what I do, buy and sell used equipment. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.